Now we're going to take a look at importing your photos straight from your digital camera. To do this, first you need to plug in your digital camera and turn it on. Then we go up to the file menu, we choose get photos and videos, and then from camera and card reader. This is going to bring up a little dialogue asking you what options you want to set when you import your photo. Well, first of all, we need to select our source, which is the particular camera that you have. Mine's a Nikon D90, so I'm going to select D90 from that menu. Next, we get to choose our import settings. What location do you want to place these files? I'm going to click Browse, and I'm going to save them to the desktop. Once I've got that set, I'll click OK. But you can choose anywhere you like. Next, we can change the shot date. Do we want it to be year, followed by month, then day? Or, if you click on this little arrow here, you can choose any of the other options that we have available. I'm just going to leave it on its default, so I'll click out of there. You can also rename the files on their way in. If you click on the little drop down here, it gives you all sorts of options for doing that as well. You can choose a custom name, and then the shot date, which has the serial number of basically a month, day, and year. There's all sorts of options in here, so you can choose the one that suits you. I'm just going to leave it on do not rename the files, because that's going to accept whatever's coming straight off the camera. Next, we have some delete options, and these are very important. You can see at the moment, by default, we have after copying, do not delete originals. This is probably the best setting, because it leaves your photos on the camera and doesn't delete them when it's finished importing them into your Photoshop Elements catalog. You could also check, if you wanted to delete your originals, this option here. After copying from the camera into your catalog here, it would delete them. So I'm going to click out of there and leave that on its default as well. What I'm going to do is show you that we have another dialog that we can access as well, the advanced dialog. This has a few more options. So I'll click on that and here you have it. I might just bring the window down slightly so you can see the top of the dialog there. As you can see here, the source is still my Nikon D90. The save options are very similar. So I'm still saving to my desktop. I can change the shot date, I can rename the files, but now we have some advanced options. We can automatically fix red eyes on the way in too. We can get Photoshop elements to suggest photo stacks, and we can also import directly to an album if you wanted as well. Here we still have our same options for bringing in files and maybe deleting them if we wanted to do that at the same time. And we also have the option to apply some metadata. This is information we can embed in our file as we import it into our catalog. And the advantage of that is that anyone who receives the file, if we send it to maybe someone else or someone who purchases the images from us, they can always see who created it and if it's copyrighted or not. Next, we're going to come over here and we'll see all the thumbnails that we have available. There's only three images that are on the camera at the moment, but I've shot them in both RAW, as you can see here, and JPEG format. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect the RAW images because I don't want to bring them in. To do that, I'm just going to click on their little ticks to turn them off. Now any photo with the tick next to the name will be imported. All I need to do from this stage is click on Get Photos here. Photoshop Elements is going through and processing these images, importing them into my catalogue, but before it does that, it's going to give me a little dialogue saying the files have successfully been copied. Also, the files have are ready for me to import. Photoshop Elements will now import these files into the current catalogue, so it's telling you what you already know. But what you do need to look out for is this option here. I'm going to deselect this, because when finished, it was going to show me only the new files in the photo browser. And I don't want that. I want to see all the current photos plus the photos that I'm bringing in. So I'm going to press OK now. And Photoshop Elements will go and do its thing, and here are my new files. All three hula girls are ready to go. 